guys, it's Tanya. So we are back for a bonus video. I promised you guys a bonus video and we are going to finish this in this video. But before we get started, I wanted to show you guys something. So I was at um, the Keepsake Scrapbook Convention um, earlier today and look what they had, right? So these are the wide eyelets that um, I have. Um, I only have a few more left, but um, the, the ones that I got were from We Are Memories Keepers and they were on Amazon, but I can't find them anymore. So I bought these because oh, they had these. They had different colors too, but I wanted to show you guys that I found a vendor um, that sells these and they sell them online. So um, it is called uh, www eyelidoutlet.com and I will link it on the screen right here so you guys can check it out and I was also link it down below and they also sell different kind of brads so I got um, the floral ones I think these are so pretty right got some ladybugs I mean that's gonna look beautiful in a flower journal right our nature look at those aren't they cute look at these butterflies y'all um, and then I got some more vintage ones so these are typewriters and then this one is like cameras and stuff like that airplanes perfect and then this one is more like a the old phone and like a fan you know like an old-timey metal fan right so but I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought that was cool and um, everybody is always asking me where to get these from and I'm so glad that I finally found somewhere to get them okay so with that being said, let me move all this out the way. Okay, so in the last video, we made the box, right? And I think it turned out really nice, see? Um, so we're making this right here, okay? Um, I already kinda, kinda know, I kinda wanna make this a folder, right? So I cut out a piece of backdrops, and this is gonna be, um, right here it's gonna lay like this uh, I don't really know what I want to do with this part yet but I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna tell you guys my idea first and then if I decide to do that then we'll go with that if I don't then we'll change it okay so I have this and I was gonna make this into like a little pocket folder and you remember this die that I um, purchased um, I will try to link it down below okay um I was thinking about making three pockets right there. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like. Right? So um, it'd be like this, pockets like that. Or, guys, <laughs> I got these from Joann's, right? And they're just vellum, like, well, not vellum, but they're kind of like um, plastic pockets that you can put in your journal. Hold on, let me show you what they look like. This is the packaging, and this is what they look like, right? And... You have big ones, look at this one. You have the big ones, which I absolutely love, right? And then you have the little ones, right? So what I was thinking about doing was taking a couple of those and putting them right here, and then putting these right here like that so you can have um, the double amount of storage. So that's one thing I'm gonna do. And then you would have a pocket right here, right? And then in this side, what I was thinking about doing is making this into um, like a <laughs> an envelope. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to make folders in the inside so that when you open the figure eight envelope, you can flip it and you have different folders that you can put stuff into. So maybe like two or three. I think that's what we're going to do. If I can figure it out, because I have it figured out in my head. If I can figure it out, then that's what we're gonna do, okay? So, we're gonna start with the more complicated thing, and that is the folder idea right here. Um, so, I know I'm, I know this is gonna be right here, and I know I'm gonna need um, a piece to flap over like an envelope. So, it's, kinda, it's gonna be kinda like a deconstructed envelope, but not. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. Okay, so I picked this paper out from the die cut with the view paper pad. Um, this is the paper pad right here. It's called Postcards, and I got this from my local Joann's, okay? So this is the one I'm using, and you guys already know that we are using Tim Holtz um, paper memorandum, 
to be exact, and some of his backdrops, okay? Uh, anyway, so I wanted to, I kind of like this section right here, right? I think it will look good with this. Like, it'll match really good with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm not going to cut all of it all. I'm just going to cut to right here, right? Just in case, because you never know with me. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that, that was a very blurry on the camera. Couldn't focus. I'm sorry. Um, anyway. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get the papers um, to make the fold. Okay, guys, so I figured it out. So I'm going to get my ruler so I can give you guys some measurements, right? So this right here, this piece is 6.5 by 8.5, um, right? So all I did was I put a gusset of maybe a uh, one-fourth in there and then you have this piece hanging right so it's gonna go like this so that's gonna be the bottom right then this part is a little bit shorter only because I cut it that way by mistake I'll flip it over to the side so it doesn't make your eyes go crazy okay um, I cut it by mistake let's do it like this I cut it by mistake <laughs> um, shorter but it's supposed to be the exact same size as this, okay? And then I just put the same gusset in there and around at my corners. So I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to put it over this side because that this, um, you know, it gets it's funny when it the camera hits it. So it's going to go like this, right? Okay. Now the doohickey that goes in the inside is a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. All right, so that's going to be like that. All right, so I took um, some off-cut pieces. You guys know I don't cut any, I don't throw anything away. And these are one and three-fourths. Um, this one is a little bit smaller, I believe. Uh, one and five-eighths. And I just scored kind of down the middle. It's not perfect, and that's okay. Um, I took 12 by 12 pieces of paper, and I just folded them in half and the whole sheet together is um, 10 by 8.5, right? So that's that, and this is folded just like this. So what I think I'm going to have to do in order to make this work is I'm going to have to cut it down the middle, okay? I'm going to show you guys what, I'm, what I was thinking. Okay, so I was going to glue these two together. First of all, I'm going to make the longer piece stay on the thing like that, right? And I'm going to glue this piece to this. So you have something that looks kind of like this, right? I'm going to show you. Hold on. And in my mind, it works, guys. And when I when I did a, um, what is that? A taste, uh, not taste test, um, a tester. Is that what I'm trying to say, y'all? Yeah. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying what I'm trying to say. Um, a prototype. That's what I'm trying to say. A prototype tester. Um, when I did that, it, it worked. Okay. And you could have scored it. You know, um, definitely you could have just scored it and then, um, you know, did the score marks and all that stuff. You could have did that. Okay. So this is kind of what it looks like. And you know what? I should have used score tape. So use score tape, guys. Uh, don't don't be like me. Guys, I don't know where my craft mat is. I, I was looking for it, but I have no idea where it is. Hmm, that is so weird. Okay, anyway, um, I was wondering what was different. <laughs> I don't have my craft mat down. Okay, anyway, uh, and I might, I might have did something with it because I was cleaning on my thing, so I might have put it under my table. All right, so this is how it goes, right? And so this is my idea. This one is going to go to the back like this. It's going to get glued to the back, right? And then, of course, you know, we're going to hide it with like this so you won't see the hinge, right? And then we will have this one, which I think is best if, because I don't, I don't want to glue it like this. So what I was thinking about doing, and I don't know if that's going to work. Um, I was going to just do it like this, glue it like this, right, 
cut that open and then the hinge you can see the hinge on on either side um, that's what I was thinking about doing and then if I do it like that then I can kind of like sew in something to cover it I'll show you guys what I'm, what I'm talking about hold on guys you already know I messed up right Ugh, I messed up anyway okay we can fix it okay just know watch my videos all the way through and then do it because I'm always gonna mess up it's like never fails okay so but we can fix it mm -hmm. okay so this is what we have and I'm gonna keep this because I think it's a good idea right so I made another hinge and so what I'm gonna do with this one because your girl shouldn't have cut these but it's okay I'm gonna glue this and oh wait is this one the right one no hold on I'm gonna glue this one to this side and this one to this side like this right so then you have a folder just basically what I had already but I, I, I ended up cutting it off like a goofball right and then that is going to go glued to this part right here okay and then this part will open and that is how it should work right we, we're going to see I don't want to glue it down yet because I do want to sew on it right and then I do want to add like pockets in the inside with the off cut pieces that I have so just making a folder right um, but I, I like totally made that more complicated than it needed to be but it is okay um, you know what you know it's okay these are happy mistakes right then if you don't make mistakes how you know you're gonna be able to fix it right that's how I look at it I'm always making a mistake but I can fix it <laughs> like I can fix it all right so that's that right I feel like it's crooked I feel like it's off so I will do my best to like straighten everything up and we'll probably like take it to my um what is that thing called cutting thing I kind of think it would look cute if we rounded the corners right would that look cute yes okay so there we go I was just making sure I did not glue that upside down <laughs> okay so this is the first one right and we're gonna glue this piece right here to here and then you'll be able to open it up right and I'm going to do the other one just like that I am going to see I have a couple of these right right so I will put a pocket in here like this and a pocket over here and then in this one I think we're going to do um like a pocket like this on either side something like this right on either side and we're going to ink it up and everything and we're going to sew around and I will show you what I have when I get back okay guys so we have sewed around everything right um, I sewed around the background then I sewed um, the pockets right and the folders okay so we are going to assemble everything and I'm hoping I'm doing this right. So I'm going to I put score tape on here. So I think I'm going to do this one first. Right? I'm hoping this is right. Okay? So come on glue. Do this one first. Then we're going to put the hinge thing down, right? Okay. Okay. Make sure it's lined up right. Okay, I'm going to bring that over so you guys can see. I'm sorry. Okay. Make sure that is on there really good. Alright. Oh, come on, Tanya. 
it's okay i'll just ink it all right um okay guys so we have this piece on and then we're going to put this piece on this is our hinge piece right and it is going to go right here okay can't find my um my tool that i use to pull my um score tape off oh i see it I cleaned up some of my craft room. I just didn't clean up my desk all the way. You know, I need to. But I'm trying to get finished with this project. I hate um, putting everything up and then I have to pull everything back out. So when I'm doing a project, I usually just leave everything out. But, you know, I probably need to get a better system. Probably need to get it like a, one of those carts, even though I have like two already. I probably... I probably should make one of them like a project cart where I put everything that I'm using for the project in that cart. Okay, y'all, let's see. Okay, all right. And so then we're going to put this piece down, and I think I might have to cut some off, so I'm glad I did this. All right, so we're going to cut this off a little bit um, right here. And guys, if you hear the lawnmower and the weed eater that is my husband and my son so um yeah <laughs> okay so we're gonna cut this piece off and we're gonna sew that so we'll do that in a minute and then we're gonna put this behind here come on we'll cover that up with our other um pocket or whatever we're doing on the um on this side okay I just put this right here and remember this one I cut a little bit short but it should be okay right just go like that make sure all right let's see oh yeah I think it's gonna look good okay and then we'll put the first one and guys I was thinking like you know how I feel about seeing those. Maybe I should put a pocket on there so you can't see that. And I probably will do that. We can we can do that. Right? We can cut a pocket. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just in case I don't place it on there right. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. So give me just a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. I'm going to put this one on there like this. Okay. Okay, and we have this folder, right? And we're going to put this one right here. Like so. Like that. Oh yeah, we're going to put a piece of off cut and we're going to we're going to put a folder behind here. We are. You guys already know I'm going to do that, right? Just to make it look better. We won't be able to see it. Okay. It looks so good, right? Okay, so while I'm doing this, before we glue the other piece down, I'm going just so I don't forget because I will forget. I'm going to add a label, and then we'll add a label to it, and we'll add the like the. Um, I don't know if we should use a paper clip or um, we could probably just use a paper clip if I have one that I I could think I got a, like a copper paper clip. So we put this right here, right? Like that. And these are labels from um, the Tim Holtz Ephemera Pack. Right? And then we've got another one. Ink this one up really quickly. Hopefully. Right? And then we'll put another label. Right where I put this one. Right there. I guess I could put this one kind of like in the middle right there then you can kind of label what's in there right yeah okay love this love it love it love it okay i am going to find um pieces for the back and i am going to cut this piece down and we will be done with this folder all right y'all so um i didn't get the paper clip but anyway i cut some off cut pieces of 
um, some paper and this is from the paper, the die cut with the view paper and we're just gonna, you see that? We're just gonna put them like that um, so you can't see where the hinge is. Um, you, don't, you don't have to do this, you know, um, but you guys know I like to cover up the hinge. Um, if I can, you know, if it's possible, but you totally don't have to do this step. It, it is a, a step that I do, but you don't have to do it. Okay. So that's that. And let's do the other one really quickly. Right here. Right. Uh oh. And I'll make sure this is the same size because I think one of my folders was okay. I think one of my folders was a little bit smaller, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe. It was just me tripping. So it's like every time I turn the camera on, my husband automatically turns the weed eater on. <laughs> I guess you could say we're in sync, huh? Okay. Um, it goes like this. Right? Right. Squish that together like that. Okay, guys, I have put everything um, in there, right? The reason why I did it off camera because the weed eater literally was right there at the door and you could hear everything. So when I was cutting um, pieces to go in the back, I was like, why not cut a piece to go right here, right? So that's what I did. So I'm going to glue that down so you have a pocket in the inside right here. And you know what I was thinking? I could probably make little envelopes and all that stuff and little tuck spots to put in here. And I will probably, you know, that will probably be like uh, the end, you know, like the end video. How um, I kind of like decorate it a little bit. Um, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, guys. But we'll see. Um, you know, you never know. I might do a video in between. You never know. I'm just trying to you know do my best and get it out you know get the videos out as fast as I can but sometimes guys it's a little hard y'all know that okay so I think that is that I think it looks really really cute I'm glad it came out um, nice even though I kinda like had a um like a you know uh, what is that a boo-boo mistake or whatever you know um, because I I did it wrong but other than that I think it turned out really good so like what I was thinking like you could put like a pocket like right here too or an envelope so we might do that um, but other than that, oh guys look it turned out so nice right I think it turned out really good I think this bottom part up really cool okay so now we're gonna be doing this and I think we should do something really simple um, because we have this doohickey here. I think something kind of simple right here. What do y'all think? All right, y'all. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to put this right here like that and cover that up. We're going to sew and then we're going to cut this piece off, fold it in half, and I think I'm going to put some windows and some acetate or vellum, whichever one I can find, in those and we'll just have a pocket. Really easy, right? Okay. Okay, guys. So I used this die. I don't know what die it came from. I think it's a Tim Holtz die. It came in the envelope or something. I don't know. But I used this die and I cut this out and I just sewed around it and glued the vellum to it. I'm going to glue this on and we will be done um, with the middle section. Um, I'm going to we're going to do the cover and I think we're going to be able to finish it off. The cover might be a little bit intense um, I just got to figure out how I did it. <laughs> I don't remember how I did the cover last time. I mean, I know how I put it together. I mean, you know, like the construction part, but I don't really remember how I, you know, did everything and all that stuff. So that is probably something that's going to take me a minute to figure out. So I'll figure that out. And then, um, we'll come back with the video, hopefully on Tuesday and, um, try to, you know, figure out the best way to show you guys how to do it you know um also guys i have some new digitals coming out i have some already in my shop as um already but i'll have more hopefully by the time you see this video um so if you guys would like to check out my etsy i will definitely have it linked down below 
Um, and yeah, I think I think that's about it, y'all. Um, I'm going to do my best to get that um, the cover um, together, the cover video together. I think it's going to be a little bit intense. I'm trying my best not to make it so hard, you know. So that's what's got and got me a little bit nervous because I think it's kind of going to be a little bit hard but I'm trying my best to figure out a way not to make it hard okay um but hold on let's just finish this up All right I think it looks good and that was really easy well I don't know about the inside but this part was really easy All right okay so let that dry but we are done what do you guys think I think it turned out really nice and I'm, I'm really excited that I'm almost done. Um, so, you know, the journal is going to go in here. I'm going to show you guys what I'm thinking about. For okay, this. guys, so I'm thinking about um, scanning this in right here. This is a vintage book, right? Scanning the cover and the back end and enlarging it and making it into the journal um, for this book. And when I do that, if I decide to do that, I'm definitely going to um, have it as a freebie so you guys can um, use it as well okay so that's what I'm thinking um, I think it'll look really nice look at that I think it's gonna look really cool I mean imagine it a little bit bigger but the aesthetic right um, so yeah okay guys so that is it and um, I will be back um, on Tuesday with another video for you all and that video we will definitely be starting the cover okay um, we probably won't finish it but we will definitely start on it okay um, God bless guys bye <music>